Obsidian. It has become the buzzword in knowledge management community. If you watch my Build Your Second Brain video series, you know the importance of Second Brain and the potential of Obsidian. Therefore, knowing Obsidian better opens up huge potential in learning anything fast. I am Shubham Dash, PhD student and research assistant at Clarkson University. I Obsidian extensively for making notes, taking class lecture, writing paper, taking book, article and blog summary, keeping course snippet, maintaining project log, almost everything. So I am starting this video series on Obsidian to spread everything I know about Obsidian to make your knowledge management process faster and effective. So no more pep talk, let's get started. Go to obsidian.md and download the Obsidian from here and install it. I've already done that part, so I'll skip it. Then open Obsidian, it asks you three options. So let me explain what those means. Create a new vault means create a folder. Obsidian will put all of your notes in that folder. Open folder as vault. If you already have Obsidian notes, use this option to open your notes. Open vault from Obsidian Sync. This is Obsidian um, paid sync feature. But for most of us, it is not necessary. So at the end of this video, I will show you how you can sync your notes in multiple computers for free. Let's create a new vault and name it second brain and put into desktop. That's it. You are ready to make your second brain. I believe this is going to be an awesome knowledge management journey. Obsidian user interface is very simple. Just a few options in the left sidebar. More buttons, more options are intimidating. It confuses people. Recently software developers are trying to make user interface simple and intuitive because it is good for keeping focus on the main point and useful for getting things done. Let's create our first node. So press new node button and name it second brain. Second brain is a revolutionary idea of making nodes, connecting nodes and writing down everything that needs to taken care of. That's it. You have created your first node. Awesome. This is getting exciting. So I open the vault folder second brain and you see only the secondbrain.md file is exists in my second brain. And if I just open this one using any notepad, I mean text editor. Wow. That means any text editor can open your notes. Wow, this is awesome. And this is very crucial. Let me explain. Just think, we make notes for our future self, right? You are learning a new subject. You have made a lot of notes in an app that is based on cloud or it has database. Five years later, the app suddenly shuts down and you will lose all of your notes. That is really, really frustrating, right? Obsidian is future proof. That means you do not need to worry about that because all of your notes are in plain text format. As long as computer exists, you can open your notes. Also, all of your notes are in your custody. So you have full control over your notes. That's good for good sleep, right? Let's create second note. Connection is important for opening bracket bracket second brain enter. What I do here is create a connection with the first node second brain and it turns into a link. Isn't that awesome? Now just bring your mouse on top of the link second brain and press control. That's the preview of the node second brain. This is the most powerful part of Obsidian. You can connect your old knowledge and idea. This way your learning process would be faster and easier. Later, when you review your note, just hover over your mouse on the note and press link. 
By this way, you do not need to search every term for making this concept clear. This is so powerful. If you just put a double bracket around the connection, it creates a link. It is also gray violet. That means the note is not created yet. See, there is no note on the left sidebar. It is just a placeholder for your future note. Press Ctrl and then click on connection. Wow, it creates a new note named connection. Putting connection this way does two things. First, it creates a placeholder for your future note. Second, pressing Ctrl and click creates a new note. And the good point is you do not need to put a name on the note because it will get the name from the link. The conventional way of opening note is navigating from the left sidebar. But this process is inconvenient when you have hundreds of nodes. I have more than 4000 nodes, so this is a nightmare for me. If you are a knowledge worker, you need to open nodes all the time, so it has to be faster. Press Ctrl O and it will open the search bar. Search second brain and press enter. The second brain note will open. This is the frequent question I get from my second brainer how to attach PDF, video, image, and any file type. So, in fact, you can do this in two ways. First, copy and paste, and second, drag and drop. I have an image on my desktop. Ctrl C, copy it, and open Obsidian, and Ctrl B, paste it. That's it. Easy, right? Next, I will drag and drop this image from web into my Obsidian node. So drag and drop. It's done. So another question I get is how to embed YouTube video inside Obsidian. So let's go into my channel, Shubankar Dash, and open the first video, build your second brain, and copy the embed link, copy the embed link, uh, copy embed, co embed code, and paste the embed code over here and enter. See, the video is linked with your note. Even you can play the video from here. So this is good point. When you make a multimedia note, actually, you can actually make a multimedia note by this way. You can put video, image, audio, PDF, everything. That's awesome. So if you want to attach PDF, so let me show you. I have a PDF in my desktop. Copy it and paste it in your note. So the PDF is already attached. So this is actually really awesome. You can actually attach any file type. Folder is the default organization method we are used to. Create folder by pressing new folder button and name it parma permanent node. Right click on the folder and create new node and name it note taking methods you can also drag and drop notes from here to the folder so you can if you just expand the folder you will see all of the notes so let's drag and drop rest of the node You can create as many folders as you want, although it is not good to open many folders. I use a technique known as Johnny Decimal to organize my notes around the folder. It is the best method I found ever. So check it here if you want to learn Johnny Decimal. So press open graph view and graph view is the most cool feature of Obsidian. You can see all of your notes and how they are connected. Each node of the graph represents a node. You can open a node by clicking on the node. Let me open my vault to show you my node in graphs. Now I will open another vault that I used to work. So to open that, you have to go to open another vault. That is actually bottom left side of this, this button. And if you just click this button, so that was the first window when we started um, Obsidian. So open folder as a vault, we will go in this option and I will point my vault folder that is in desktop. Shufonkar PKB, open folder, 
and so obsidian is actually opening another vault and this is my actually um, second brain and if i just click on open graph view you will see all of my nodes in graph view see if i just zoom you will see the connection how they are connected with each other and this is the really awesome part of using obsidian i can see all of those connections and this is a big network of so all of my nodes that i'm actually um, taking down in last one and a half years everything in obsidian is plain text and files so let me open the second brain folder and see how what is the status of the uh, second brain folder right now you see all of those notes are plain text and rest of the files are dust files so that means you can sync your obsidian vault using any cloud service provider such as google drive dropbox onedrive anything so just put your um, second brain into google drive and sync using that and open the vault from different computer so that is easy so syncing is not a problem in obsidian